Don't worry, he's the same. There's a slight little tweak there in terms of your address position again, which we'll go through in more detail there on the right hand one. But in terms of what your swing was doing, okay, we put some lines on here. Mm -hmm. So heads nicely behind the ball there at setup. Okay, I'll put this line above your head there now. As you went back. We lifted and swayed. Point. So you moved yeah. a long way to, as we're looking here now, to the left. So you can lift up to your right-hand side there, head somewhere up here, mm -hmm. and you move there. Now, to get back to the golf ball, your head's got to then move there. If it doesn't, there. again, you're really going to move it a little bit less or a little bit too much, and you hit the ground too early, hit the top of the golf ball or this other ball. But you're trying to judge where your head needs to move back to. Mm -hmm. From, I say, there's the top of the backswing there at 116. Clubs come back down. 169 is basically half a second mm. to try and figure out where the golf ball is going to be. Yeah, when you did it over and over again, you kind of figured it out. But on a golf course, you only get one go at it. You're not going to have that luxury of it in multiple shots, okay? And if we look at that swing there now, again, arms collapsing a little bit. Left, I mean, that left foot's up on its toe pretty much fully. Moved <laughs> along with this way. Now, this is the swing on the right hand side, sequence wise, two setups. So feet together, setting apart, as we said, getting a little bit more kind of. Lead arm on the club now, more arms is good. Now in your practice swing, while you're over the golf ball, we make a practice swing there. Look at the difference in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this is a practice swing, which we'd expect to be, this is your original swing. Yeah. This is the practice swing. Well, so when different. the ball's in the way, it's kind of in the middle of these two, which you'd expect to fair. But if you do this every single time in your practice swing, you swing to there, how much your head's not moving off? There'll be a little bit, which is absolutely fine, but that Definitely movement there. Oh, exactly, yeah. Well, exactly, yeah. So that's the that's the backswing movement you're making there now. Mm. Then when you actually get to play the golf shot, we'll move somewhere in between. But that's that's your thinking movement up here. Mm. Then when you get back to the golf ball, you go right. Okay, I'm just in the golf club. Okay. Mm. And there's your backswing. So you moved oh, a little bit. How much better that is? Width in your arm. I'm, I haven't said to you once today, keep your left arm straight away. I must be twisting and stretching my back. Exactly. And that's the thing. So, yeah. So, from here now, do you need to dip? A little. There's going to yeah. be a little bit there anyway, which is again, we'll get used to over time. Mm. Good strike of the golf ball. Back to good impact position. Again, there's some things we're going to move, obviously, through the swing yeah. into impact and beyond. But for the moment now, we've got to get this top of the back swing position into a much more I efficient... I mean, that's yeah. ridiculous there. I mean, wow. compared I to... The, one, I mean, you look at that there. Yeah. That oh, there. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's basically the oh, complete God. opposite. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just swapped swings. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's no need to dip. The dip's not going to disappear, as I said, straight yeah. away. In time, you'll minimise it slightly. If you've got a little bit of... It's not the end of the way. It's when you've got to move so much because you've moved so far off the golf ball. Yeah. And to say to you, don't dip, you would just miss the golf ball. I mean, if you try to swing a golf club from up there, you'd miss it. And eventually it gets to the point where you go, well, this is useless. I'm missing the ball. I'm going to quit golf now. <laughs> because, yeah. Or you'll do something to fix it. Yeah. Either you add this downward motion, which you did, head kind of coming down there you know, big old i mean top of the screen there's outside the top of the screen and big old drop here when you timed it well lovely golf shot mm. yeah, really nice shot but it just had so many things that could go wrong and then when you swing through hands are quite tucked up here now and then through to a pretty good follow through position okay mm. as you come back here now same kind of good follow through position okay mm -hmm. but it required so much more to get yeah, that so. strike on this left hand one yeah, but as I said, in terms of thinking, every single, so if you can, this is the, almost the biggest discipline, so every single shot you do this, because if you hit a really bad shot, which you will do every now and then, mm -hmm. you'll try and rush the next one, or if you hit three or four really good shots, you'll get, oh, I've got it now. And not, not get complacent, but you just sort of go, well, forget about it, I, I, I can just go and hit some golf balls. So yeah. every shot, you've got to start with that kind of sequence there, boom, boom. Once that becomes kind of normal, what that feeling is, you just stand there all the time, that's fine. This is your practice. Do that and back down. So that's kind of your, th all the time now, you can think about that movement there, mm -hmm. get to the top of the backswing, bring the golf club down, reset. And then once the golf club goes in motion now, no thought, you just swing and hit. You're not thinking during the two seconds that club swing in the golf club at the ball. You can think in your practice movement, okay? And if it means, I say at home, stand there in front of a mirror or reflection somewhere, mm. just make some moves there now. Just keep doing this. So this becomes kind of what you do. And this will become then the sort of muscle memory or the, the norm. And over time, you'll think, well, I don't need to start dipping now. There's a little bit of a lift there, which I say is to be expected to start. You're not going to just completely disappear with that. Yeah. But if we can minimise by how much it was going 
<laughs> up and down. I mean, it's like... There's so much movement. Well, that's the thing. And that's, and that's why I said to you, I mean, you, you, you swing it very, very well. It's just the fact you made the game harder for yourself by moving off the goal. I mean, there's so much movement off there. I mean, in some ways, that almost... If your head faced this way, there's a left hand to follow through, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's how much you've moved that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Where your left foot up on its toe, you've turned your hips almost 90 degrees with your shoulders there. just requires so much more to get back to the goal. Yeah. Yes, on occasions you did, but more often than not, it just didn't didn't no. click. It was, when it was good, very, very good. And when mm. it was bad, it'd be a missed shot, tipping the ground behind the ball or top. Yeah. Yeah? So l less move on the way back, and through. Okay. Okay, okay? Yeah. Brilliant. Right, okay, have a few more then with that okay. seven, and then uh, we'll try for the clubs as well.